In this video, I want to give you a walk around uh, the latest iteration of the Autonomous Network project, the SAFE Network, from MadeSafe. Um, what I'm going to do is basically show you what's currently available on the Alpha 2 version of this in the way of uh, demonstration apps and a few little apps that some of the uh, supporters and uh, you know enthusiastic supporters have put together to give you an idea how this actually works because when you talk about an autonomous network or a decentralized internet not everybody understands what that means so i'm hoping that this short demonstration will give you an idea as to the potential even though what i'm going to show you is really very early and very basic uh, demonstration apps so let's start it all basically centers around uh, what's called the SafeNet browser now you download this and this is your doorway into the network. So I'm going to launch that now. So I'm going to go to my uh, launcher and I'm going to open up the Safe browser. Like most browsers, uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward, but one of the features of this browser is that it is also the authenticator for creating an account on the Safe network and therefore giving you access to the specific apps that are available to you. Okay, so in doing this, I would be, first of all, if you haven't got an account, obviously I do, but if you didn't have an account, you would be going here and clicking on create an account uh, and off you go. It tells you what to do. But I'm just going to log in. So I already know what my secret of my account password is. And I put in the password. And log in. I allow it to uh, connect with incoming apps as I request. We're now joining the network. I've already got pre-authorized a number of apps, which I'll show you a couple of these. Uh, what I'll show you first is the demo apps that have come from the MadeSafe project itself, the MadeSafe team. So to do that, I'm going to open up, first of all, I'm going to open up uh, the web hosting manager. And then after that, I'll open up the email tutorial. What you see now is the authorization process. In other words, I've opened the app and it's self-authorizing with my account. You can see by this progress bar here. Um, I have already created a website. This is a basically a demo app for creating websites. Um, if you were doing it again, like a new one, you would start here and tell you you can use a template. They've given you a simple template. Start from scratch or choose an existing folder or file. Uh, however, I have already um, created a very small one-page website under my own ID, McJazz. If I click on this here, you'll see I've got it. It's called Freedom. If I click on that, it will open itself up in the Safe Browser. This is just a page I created many years ago um, on sub the subject of uh, various elements of freedom. And you can just see that what you see here is a simple website, which I it was a simple page I put up with the graphics, and that's it there. I will point out, for those of you not familiar, that the protocol that you use for addresses within the SAFE network is not HTTP at all. We're dealing with a completely different network here. This is SAFE colon two forward slashes. And then it has an ID. There's no .com or .org. There's none of that normal domain type of identifier. Instead, you have an ID, and within that ID, or from that ID, you know, the ID, you can create various other elements, apps, or files, or websites. Okay, so that is my little demo one. Now, um, the next demo app I want to show you is um, the email tutorial. Now, the email tutorial is designed to give you an idea how email would work on the network. Uh, once again, you can see it's initializing the application. This is the process by which, once you're logged into the network, initially you can go for apps, you can request apps, and then they will authenticate within. I've already created, once again with my ID, I've already created an ID. You can create multiple IDs, just like you can create multiple email addresses. And I would open the one I've already got, and you'll see that I have a mailbox. Uh, my inbox has got 10 messages. These are just messages I receive from 
people within the SAFE forum, in other words, people just testing it out. If I wanted to send a message, I would simply click here, put in the ID of the person, the subject, write my message here, and then I would send it. Um, if I was replying, of course, you can see here, I've got the reply function, so I can click here, I can reply to this user, I can, the subject's already there, and I would send that. This works fine, it's very, it's very basic, but it gives you an idea of how the SAFE network works with regard to specific apps that we're all familiar with. Okay, so that's the SAFE Mail tutorial. Uh, what I'd also like to show you, because the way the browser works is very clever. A lot of apps are written in the browser itself. In other words, they're browser-based apps. And uh, various people within the network, the SAFE network community have created sample apps, which I'm going to show you now, give you an idea what people are up to. <laughs> Some of them are quite fun. I've made a little short list here, which I shall just bring up so I can access them. Now to do this, I'm just going to move away from this page, the Authenticator page, onto the main browser page, and I'll just go through these. Okay, let's take the first one. The first one is called Simple Forum. I'll copy and paste that. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Take that out. Uh, copy and paste this into the browser. Um, of course, all of these uh, all of these web addresses follow the, the correct format with the safe colon double forward slash so forth. Okay, here we have it. Now, of course, a forum is a great little example because it indicates how you can use existing forum concepts within the safe network. In other words, for communicating, we already have a number of people that put things here. Somebody's written here, Win Lambo, whatever that means. But I open that, and people have all been commenting here. I go back, you know, if I want to make a topic, I would just click here and I would enter my um, topic title, I'd enter my sub, you know, my, my name or my whatever, and my text of what I want to write. And of course, if I was replying, then I would simply uh, click on this, uh, look at that, and I can reply to anybody else's comments. Anybody who, who's been watching this, who's familiar with the forums, knows that this is a fairly basic idea, but you can see how it works. You've got your topics, you've got the ability to comment and also reply. So that's the first one. The next one I want to show you is a nifty little app called Safe Wallet. Now, this is based on the idea of an app where you can store uh, important things, you know, things like passwords, credit card numbers, bank account IDs, and so forth. And so this app gives you an idea how this would work on the Safe Network. So just wait for that to come up. It'll probably ask for authorization. Yes, okay. As you can see, once again, uh, because I'm already logged in, these apps are self-authorizing with my own ID. We'll just wait for a second. Okay, here we come. Now, I've created these already. In other words, I've created various wallets under different titles. In other words, I created two-factor authorization. I've created my passwords, my, my fake card. So, for example, I want to look at that. I just click on it. It brings it up, and there I have it. I put in a security code, a PIN number, and so forth, even a picture. Uh, you can edit these anytime you like. You just uh, pull up the edit function, and you can, and there you find that I've got my number and so forth. Uh, I did the same with passwords, you know, in other words. Um, and also you can create in the new wallet you like. So here's the function for creating. You would decide what category it was in, credit card, password, public key, two-factor authorization, save called wallet, and a little uh, fun coin called thanks coin, and you create that, and then you add the information to that. Okay, that's the safe wallet. Uh, another, another simple little app is called Mind to Chat. This is a chat app. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody to chat to at the moment, but I'll just quickly open it, show you what it looks like. This is obviously a function or an app where you can invite people to your chat, uh, and you can then have a private chat within the SAFE network. Keep in mind the SAFE network is uh, not only is it autonomous and of course decentralized, fully distributed, and it completely does away with centralized servers. In other words, the whole network resides on its users' devices, whether computer or smartphone. See, it says here, welcome at Jazz. It's, it's identified me, I'm connected. Uh, I would be able to add somebody here if I knew who they were. I'd put their username and add and start the conversation with them. So that's the mind chat, and obviously the conversation appears here, and the messages go in here. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, here's one which is a bit of fun. This is called The Wall. This is basically an interactive uh, little app that someone's put together where you can exercise your artistic talents by painting graffiti on a wall with a spray paint can where you choose the colours. Okay, wait for this to come up. Here we go. Okay, so uh, let's say I want to, uh, we'll just wait for this. It's the, okay, here we go. Here's the can where we can pick. Uh, let me think, I'm gonna pick a nice bright yellow. And now I have effectively a spray can. Okay, so I can I can draw a picture. Okay, here I go. There's a little painting program. And away you go. A lot of fun for kids, obviously, but you can see the potential. It's a, it's, an, it's a website and it's a painting website right there within the browser. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, this one's to do. This is fairly basic. It's basically a to do list. Here's a little game um, you can play called um, Memory Game. You're always familiar with this type of thing. And I don't really want to show you this because my memory is not that good on these type of games. But I'll show you how it works. Uh, I'm sure you could get a much better score than me. Okay, obviously the idea here is you reveal images and you've got to try and remember where they were in order to get the matching one. So I'm just going to randomly try. Oh, I got it straight away. How about that? Okay, pictures. Okay, okay. Oh, where do I see that? There. Okay, get the idea. Get the matching one and then you disappear them. So let's have a look. Mm -hmm. No, that's not very good. Try again. Oh, where did I see that? You see, this is the problem. Remembering where you see things. Yay, yay, yay. As you can see, I'm pretty useless, but you get the idea. Okay. And then there's one here where you can do a checklist, which is also fairly simple. Now, in showing you this, the reason I showed you this is because at the moment with the Alpha 2 network, um, you can only get access if you're involved on the forum and have reached a certain status within the forum. And then, of course, you can create your account. This is what I've done. But I thought by doing the video, I would give you a quick look at what's happening at the moment and, and give you a taste of what the Satan Network is about. Now, I should say, uh, contrary to some people's you know, um, understanding, this is far more than simply storing data, as you can see. It's not about file storage. It's a autonomous data network, which really means it's an autonomous distributed internet uh, to use terminology we're, we're familiar with. Anything that you can put on the normal internet, and a lot more, we are led to believe, can be created on the safe network. In other words, it represents a alternative internet which is fully distributed, fully autonomous, um, and of course, secure and uh, private and encrypted. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that's been helpful. And uh, I'll do updates as we go into the future, as we progress further down the track of this very exciting and very significant project.